Good morning guys. So today's business networking tip is called do it anyway. So last week had a networking event. I was talking to a woman and her business would be awesome for Facebook Live. She has a ton of tips she could share. And I said, you know, I really see Facebook Live for you. She said, yeah, me too. It's part of my uh, marketing plan. So I smiled and said, how long, how long has it been part of your plan? And she's like, okay, it's been a while. And I see this all the time. Because for most of us, doing Facebook Live, doing videos, is outside that proverbial comfort zone. And that's okay, but you can't stop doing it because it's outside that comfort zone. And I see this a lot. People are like, Kev, I'm not you. You know, I'm not comfortable doing it. Secret is, nobody's comfortable doing it until you actually get out and start doing it. So what I'm encouraging people to do is, you know, make a commitment to do one video. Just go out and do it. You know, worst, worst case, you're doing it and you know, your mind goes blank, just delete it. You know, like right now, there's two people watching. So if I do something crazy and I mess up, boom, just hit finish and delete it. No, no blood, no foul type of thing. But what I found, I can only speak to myself, is by doing these videos this weekend, I had two people connect with me on social media simply because they saw my videos. Those are two more people going to be coming to my events because they saw the videos. It's just, it's a different way to connect because you guys get to see me. You know who I am, you know my personality. You know, it just, it helps. I get a lot of people who are really great writers. You know, and I read their, their posts from time to time. It's funny, I was talking to a dude and um, he's like, oh, I don't do videos, I got an excellent blog. I'm like, hey, how's your readership? He goes, my mom reads all my posts. You know, chuckle, chuckle, you know, he's like, nobody's reading it. And I think you should combine both. That's what I do over on CabinWallet.net. You know, so I post some videos and I also have, you know, just written um, tips too because I think combining both makes sense. But, you know, let me be honest with you on the blog side. You know, I get some friends, you know, you read their blog posts. It's like, okay, that's 12 paragraphs. It's going to take me, you know, a little bit of time to read. Unless I really, really love you or I really, really like your content, I'm not going to do it. You know, everything's just faster now. So combining both is definitely going to help you. But it's okay, you know, it's outside your comfort zone. You know, I remember when someone reached out to me to do Facebook Live, I'm like, I don't know about that. You know, Live's right in the title. What if I say something crazy? What if I throw an F-bomb or something, which could happen? You know, and, and I just had to get over it. And you know, each time you do it, your confidence gets a little stronger. You know, you're looking, hey, a few more people are watching. But don't get caught up on that, you know, or how many people are viewing, because you know, there's times when you scroll in Facebook, you see someone's live, and they might have a ton of viewers, you know, people have seen it, and you don't. It's, it takes time to build up the audience. Be consistent. For me, I honestly try to hop on every day. Yeah, so most most weeks I'm pretty good at it. But you don't have to do that. You know, commit to doing one. Then commit to doing one a week. And you kind of grow from there. But just because you may not be comfortable with it, it's not about you. It's about your clients. Do they want to hear your video tips? Is that going to help you grow your business? You know, because I think we're all guilty of that. You know, it's what we want, what we like. And I see this all the time. I'm like, ah, I don't like that. And, you know, then I catch myself going, doesn't matter what you like. Do your clients like it? Would it benefit your clients? If the answer is yes, then you owe it to your clients to do it. Plain and simple. That's today's business networking tip, guys. As always, you like this tip, hit that like and share button. Um, let me know when you plan on doing your first Facebook Live. I think that's important. Put it, put your date right on here. I'm going to challenge you today. I want you to commit to doing Facebook Live. So when you do it, tag me in the in the video post so I can see it and I can share it with my friends. But I'm going to tag you. And guys, one last thing. Don't worry about what people think. You know, because occasionally I have somebody mention something about my tip being, you know, geez, you know, you did this or that. My response, always the same. When was the last time you did Facebook Live? You want to criticize my video? Well, it's okay, but let me see yours. And 100% of the time, this only happens once or twice. You have someone like, oh, you know, your tip was kind of weird or whatever. And I'm like, all right, when you have the courage to get in front of the camera, you can question my tips. Until you do, love you, but, you know, it's a lot easier sitting there watching than it is in front of the camera. But do it, guys. It gets easier all the time. Just keep practicing. All right, you want to come to events, friendsofkevin.com, newenglandb2bnetworking.com. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a truly dazzling day.